My question is going to pertain to Marinette County and the government, Governor Thompson State Park and Peshtigo River State Forest. Okay. As taxpayers, licensed purchasers, in the whole nine yards, in the past couple years, I have seen two gigantic waste of money. On Cauldron Falls, Boat Landing 9, they put in one of the most beautiful handicapped fishing piers I have ever seen in my life. I thought, this is so wonderful. But then I said to myself, oh yeah, we might as well camouflage it and turn it into a duck blind. Because the only purpose it serves is two weeks after ice out is fishable. After that, you're feeding blackbirds because your worm will never reach, reach the water. Why we spend money doing something like that is unbelievable. I don't know who we're supposed to talk to because when you talk to people up there at Governor Thompson, they just sort of go, I don't know, we don't know how that happened. They put in a boat landing this year on High Falls, probably the best boat landing they had, boat landing five. You could launch big, deep boats. My neighbor said to me who fishes three times a day. He says, I'll never go to that boat landing again because if there's more than four cars there, you cannot back out your boat trailer in a nice deep launch. They filled in with dirt and you got to put your vehicle halfway into the water. He says, who is making decisions like this? Who gets paid to make these decisions? I sure would like to know because they are messing things up big time. Point well taken. Um, as a previous park manager, I, I certainly understand and uh, am familiar with your concerns. Uh, we have, in the past, um, I know that we have consulted with our fish biologists to make sure that the areas that we are investing for the fishing um, uh, piers are placed in an area where you're going to find fishing available to you well, from what, when the water is liquid. Uh, and it hasn't always been that way, and I completely understand that. As for the boat launch, yes, um, one of the factors that they are supposed to take into account is the number of parking stalls for a particular launch. I'm not familiar with that particular launch itself, but that should have been one of the factors. Um, that they took into account, as well as whether or not that particular launch is um, affected by the scullery that goes on from power loading of um, the, um, the boats into the trailers. And I know that that has been a significant issue up on Pesho River State Forest on uh, several of their boat launches is the scouring issue where you've, you're backing along, backing up, backing up, and all of a sudden, and you're uh, having to try to replace an axle on your trailer now um, because it, it just falls off the, the face of the earth, essentially. So I hear you, and I'd be more than happy to look into both of those concerns for you. I'll give you my card when we're done. Sure. Um, maybe a part of the I, problem is on these boat launches, I see them put their boat launches in, they're so incredibly flat, they're not steep. And then you've got to back your car in the water, and then your your boat still isn't deep enough because there isn't enough slant. And then they 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 power scour out because there's enough slant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a simple fix. If they did put the right slant on enough slant. Sure. Yeah. And, and some of on our typical lakes, it's usually not um, too difficult to figure out the engineering behind them. Some of them that are affected by um, flowages, that are affected by drawdowns and things like that, or <laughs> Lake Michigan when Mother Nature decides to play uh, around a little bit with us and give us four feet of water, um, all of a sudden things do change a, a bit. But you're right, there, there needs to be more consideration given to those uh, situations. So thank you for your comments. I appreciate that.